There's a lot of risk in cryptocurrency lunatics, and we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about what's going on with Luna Classic right now, because as you might have noticed, we're starting to get a little bit of a movement towards the upside, and we'll check in on it and see exactly what that looks like. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. That helps push me up in the algorithm, and that helps me to continue to provide to you and support you uh, in all of the goings on of Terra Luna Classic. So hit that like button and uh, let's go. Okay guys, first and foremost, if you are looking to do any futures trading or trading in general on uh, Lunk and you want a non-KYC exchange, it's gonna be Weeks. You can see that up here in the corner, W-E-E-X right there. There is a link down below. All you have to do is go down there and sign up today and start trading and they have a nice bag. So uh, they're, uh, and, and if you, by the way, look at it right now, you can, you, you, you're can gonna really like what you see uh, when it comes down to it. Like when, when you're you know playing this out, uh, I think that we are about to have an explosive sort of rally coming for Luna Classic and a big breakout. Now, I said that it was going to take a little bit longer, but what I thought was going to play out absolutely did not play out in the broader market. Uh, we're watching crypto continue to surge. So if that's the case, then what can we expect next? Well, uh, before we get into that, Let's check out Terraport.finance if you want to play with meme coins over here. And you should have some. You should have some Rocket, some Juris, some Cat with Hat. You never know which one's going to pop off. And you can also earn some Selenium over here in a pre-sale or in a pre-sale in a uh, in the launch pad. So you can come over here and earn some Selenium at Terraport.finance. Also, Terra Casino has a Black Friday special up to a 90% discount from the 29th today until December 1st with the Stretch Network. Also, Wild Spin from Platypus is now available. And you know all your favorite tokens. And uh, December 22nd is the end of the 2 million euro giveaway between the World Poker League and Terra Casino. So go start playing today. There's a link in the description below, just like there is for weeks. Now let's talk price action. Lunk price could soar as Terra Luna burns 1.34 billion tokens. Now we burned that in the last seven days. Big number, in fact. Uh, top price this week is 30129. So we're looking to get back into that. And Miles Dutcher, friend of mine uh, and popular analyst on Twitter, also said that he is back in. He thought, I never thought I would be here again. And guess what? Here I am getting myself some Luna Classic. So one of the big guys back in... Uh, back in Luna Classic, and he does think that it is primed for a breakout. And um, as far as his levels go, look, here's what I think is happening. This is what I gave you uh, as far as price action goes, and it's actually playing out very specifically exactly what I said. So there could be a dip coming very, very soon uh, as it consolidates in this range because that's what it did back in 2020, the broader market. Now, here's the thing. Today, yes. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen guys, the big move here for me, in my fixed staking pool, I'm gonna go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm gonna go into the nine month for 71% return. We're gonna continue. We stake close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X getting a significant yield off of that. We have 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross, all right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clint. Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. 
yesterday and the day before were huge dumps. We dumped over 20% in the previous uh, bear, as we were coming into the bull market right after the election, um, as we were getting into the golden bull, what happened was we had a 20% dump. We did not have that this time. So it is entirely possible that this market is set to absolutely explode. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying that it's really looking a little bit different. Now, if that is the case, everything I just gave you over here, we just move this over to the side because ultimately we're going to make that big move up into this range. It's going to be between 3016, 3018. That's going to be your consolidation point. That's the area. Uh, if we get good sentiment behind us, then it could wick up into that 786 area, which is right here at 3021. Expect a little consolidation from that range and then expect some big breakouts to start happening. And, you know, 201 is coming a lot sooner than you might think. Don't forget, uh, and by the way, Leonardo, uh, we will be talking on this channel about what's next for the repeg. And I will get a list of questions. If you have questions, put them in the comments down below and I'll take out some of the best ones. And we will ask those questions when we talk and interview Leonardo about the ceramic repeg. So um, as far as volume goes, uh, volume is at 68 million. Again, a lot of it is BTCC. And here's the thing, you know, I want to say this. I, I think maybe BTCC might have something to do with all of this burning right here. Now that I think about it, because they're the ones that are, are, are churning out volume here uh, by comparison. So it, it is possible that uh, BTCC is the reason that so much of this stuff is being burnt just recently. So uh, we'll have somebody smarter than me track on that and we'll see what happens. Uh, also, USTC up 1% on the day, but volume up 21% to 25 million. Uh, again, when you look at the volume on the 24 hour, it's all really Binance. We'd like to see some kind of burn for USTC with Binance, wouldn't you? There are currently no governance proposals. Coin Hall meme coins, uh, cat with hat surge up, up to 108, food is still at 111. And uh, the, the bags are starting to surge just a little bit. Are they surging huge? No, but they are surging just a little bit. You get a little bit more value each and every time. Cat with hat, as you can see, up 18%. Pizza Boy up 15% on the day. So, and the number two traded coin, Hamster Meme over on Terraport.finance. So, uh, a lot of cool stuff happening out here uh, if you have some meme coins. Now, uh, as far as this price could soar, we've already gone through that. We've already looked at that. I agree with what Miles is saying. And by the way, it should be noted over here that you can see that this area right here that he thinks is going to be the next move, that is our 786 number completely. So uh, I would agree with his assessment that that is the next big move. So um, we will see some, some real gains coming very soon. Now, uh, Terra Money has not said anything recently. We are still waiting to see what's going on here with LFG's wallet, with Terraform Labs wallet. We don't know what's happening, but we are looking for that. And as far as the Binance wallet, we are tracking that a little bit more now. And we can see right there, 2.13 trillion, still down 250 billion. There was a, a big transfer. That big transfer um, what was nice. And somebody also asked me another question, by the way, what about crypto.com? Well, we've got 180 billion here in one wallet and 117 billion here in another wallet, meaning they hold 300 billion in supply. And if that is the case, then assuredly they are going to be re-enabling for trading coming up very, very soon. They've been sitting on this for a while. Crypto.com now has uh, the government, the US government uh, behind their backs, if you will. Um, because we are now switching into a pro-crypto environment from really a cantankerous sort of relationship under the Biden administration. And since that is the case, then I would suspect that we're probably going to see crypto.com open up for trading very, very soon. Uh, we'll probably see you know a, a lot happen in a short period of time. And it, it's going to start getting a little bit crazy here. Okay, just look, we're at, we're at the bull run phase. So uh, I do think that that's going to happen. Also, when you look at the burns right now, 1.34 billion. So we're excited about that. Uh, as far as Leonardo goes, um, Lunk will never be minted, only burn. See, um, the only thing minted is the new USTC and only uh, when there is the collateral to support the mint at a basic level, just remember every $1 USTC created will need around 1.6 in collateral to protect the investors and pay various. Now, so, and, and by the way, all of these things are part of this in, entire thing. Um, and there's a whole bunch of people out here who are now trying to pick this apart and, and you know, figure out what the answer and trying to figure out 
um, uh, trying to figure out how to make this thing happen and make it go through. So the discussion is early, but it is happening right now. Guys, you should be really excited about a, a repeg coming very, very soon. Uh, as far as burns yesterday, 29 million got burned. Uh, just, you know, really 98,000 USTC, which is more than we've had in a lot of different days. But still, you know, I, I think it's, it's not a significant amount of supply. So, you know, prefer to see a little bit more with that. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, that's it, guys. Um, it is wild that all of this stuff could be happening very, very soon. So what I would suspect is, by the way, if you go in the comment section of my videos, by the way, leave a comment today. Uh, let me know what you think. But if you go down there, you're going to see every day there's some people crying that it's never going to a dollar. They're crying that, you know, and, and look, will it ever go to a dollar? I don't know. Um what I said was 2.8 cents was the number that I gave you. I gave you that number probably a year and a half ago, and I've kind of held to it at this point that that is a pie in the sky, but it is a pretty good uh, pie in the sky estimate of what could happen if a lot of things go right. And to this point, you know, huge amounts of things did not go right. The smoothest of opportunities did not happen, but we are now at that repeg level. And we're going to burn Luna Classic. We're not going to burn, um, uh, we're not going to mint Luna Classic. It would only be burns. It would be coming down. Um, you know, everything that you want is about to happen. And it will take some time, but it's about to happen. And when all of this stuff really starts to get implemented and really starts to happen, then that's when price will start to get crazy. Now, uh, again, uh, three cents to me. Um, will that be life-changing money? Not really. I mean, you know, it's a hundred X, maybe hundred and three hundred X, something like that. Three hundred X. I mean, that's okay. It's not. It's not a bad deal. But you know, it, it, we got a long way to go. So look, guys. What I ultimately look at the guys in the comment section crying about a dollar, crying about a penny, crying about everything. Just point at them and laugh because they're funny guys. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, leave your comment down below. Do you think that any of that's happening or is it possible? And uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. If you're not in America and you didn't have a Thanksgiving yesterday, hope you had a great Thursday. And uh, we'll talk to you again uh, Monday.